texture guide how to properly port Call of Duty textures mainly Modern Warfare and Infinite Warfare other Call of Duties do have different textures for example Cold War has Roughness and Specular Modern Warfare 2019 has Metallic and Gloss so the way to properly convert the textures is that you want to download game image utilities this is a tool made by Scobula. Uh, Scobula is the guy that made Greyhound. Um, he's the reason why we're able to do this in the first place. So anything Call of Duty related, he's pretty much got it all sorted out, sorted out already. Uh, so you can use this on other CODs. But for now, for general, well, ge for the general use, you want to go automatic because it does it anyway. Um, so what you want to do is highlight both both of these files, drag it on and drag them on there and here you go this is how I do it uh, because Fallout 4 doesn't have proper PBR there are different ways of doing the textures um, this is the way that I prefer to do them uh, one sec. so I load in this one that I just ripped I'll just um, non-converted, delete the layer and then you want to load in the second one in control A, C, paste and then you want to put the value to 70 the reason why I do this is because I use uh, cube maps um, you don't want to be too dark because there won't be any colour but you don't want to be too bright because it'll just be white on the screen so I do I do 70 so that when you apply the cube map in the game it looks like it would in Modern Warfare well this is what I've discovered anyway there's other textures like the occlusion you can copy this and paste it on top and set it as multiply this basically just adds more definition uh, you know higher detail to the textures um, so you want to save this as a diffuse maybe so body D not as a PNG obviously as a DDS and you want to save it as color and BC7 fine linear this one here and you want to save that for the normal the this is what the regular uh, don't mind. anyway let's not worry about that um, let's just go on to it <laughs> there's no point going through that bullshitty Call of Duty stuff so it will rip a normal map and it will have the gloss separate um, the reason why I use this tool is basically you need this for the normal maps if you don't use this on the normal maps you'll have fucked up textures and your model will look weird so as a general rule of thumb you want to use Scobulous tools anyway because they were made specifically to work with Call of Duty assets so this is the normal save this as a normal obviously and you want to save it as a normal map and there you go as your normal map go back into the files pick out this one here and this one this is your specular map so you want to control A copy and paste this into the red channel and then you want to go to your gloss obviously if this is Cold War you want to invert it to gloss because Cold War uses roughness but you want to copy and then paste this into the green channel blacken up the blue and this is your specular specular and gloss specular red channel gloss green channel that's pretty much all it is and save that as S or anything you want and save it as a normal map as well so that's it that's pretty much it that's, that's the easiest way to do this um, there's no other, um, there are different tools you can use but obviously if you're porting Call of Duty assets you want to use tools that were made specifically to port them so this is the best way to do it this is the best way to port the textures and this is it thank you for watching